This is my morning face. Yeah, so I've gotten up early. It's what's well, 8 a.m. right now, which means I got up at 7. So I can go to this cars and celebrities and coffee and whatever they call it. I don't think I've ever been out here at 8 a.m. It's beautiful. The new hot tub is hot. The, po the pool is uh, cold. But it's absolutely beautiful out here. I love my little patch of grass. You know, in Vegas, having a patch of grass like this is a luxury item. It really is. And we have a well to support it. But most people don't have any grass at all. A lot of these desert plants, though, I've really come to appreciate these little palm trees and things like that that we don't have in Texas. And um, this is ready to rock and roll. The poor old fake Ferrari has been covered up and hasn't been driven in a while. But now do you see what I see? I don't know if you can see on this windshield. Do you see the little cat paw prints? Oh my gosh, Sharn Carr. Remember I talked about the cats here. We have stray cats everywhere. You know, they're not that stray. They're just like, they just moved in. They're not like feral because they're not mean. But there's little kitty prints all over my gosh darn windshield. Little prick. All right, I gotta wipe off the car. Okay, this is like my little car wash bay out here, right? Now you can see that I love Chemical Guys products. I do. And I know a lot of people are gonna come in the comments and go, no, this stuff is better, that stuff is better. All I know is that there is a detail garage that sells all of these products. And does your product have a local store that I can go to where I have somebody I can speak to, where I can go through an aisle and pick out the product that I want and buy it by the gallon? Does your product do that before you comment down below that I can just go down the street and buy a gallon of wheel cleaner? The answer is probably gonna be no. They have some great products I've talked about, like their leather scent, right? Um, I really like uh, the this stuff here, the back to black, the black on black rather. But I gotta blow this stuff up here. Rain-X Waterless Car Wash. This stuff right here is the greatest one and done stuff for cleaning glass, chrome, the car, just, this is pretty much kind of really all you need. I have found this to be the best glass cleaner I've ever used in my life. It's just the best everything. Really, you can kind of use that above, you know, for anything, for just anything, inside, outside, this stuff. Now, that's what this is, this blue, Basically, Chemical Guys had, I think they got sued by rain or whoever makes this blue formula. And they used to sell it by the gallon. Now, you can't, I don't think you can get it anywhere. They reformulated it, and they've changed it, and they repackaged it. But I can tell you that since I started using that stuff right there, like, that's really all you need. A lot of this stuff, I mean, is just the same stuff, just wrapped different. It's got a little bit different chemical thing added to it. Um, but, I mean... I've used a lot of different stuff. I mean, this this is a, uh, you know, for for getting iron off of things. All right, so like this, you spray this on your wheels and it gets the wheel dust off. But you know what? I wiped off the god darn wheels with this and it was fine, okay? You know, this is also a wheel cleaner, right? Diablo, which I get. And then you have this wheel cleaner. I have three different kinds of wheel cleaners. You know what I cleaned the wheels off with yesterday? That. So I'm just saying that like, um, you know, I'll, I'm sure there's some chemist that's going to tell me all the different reasons why this watermelon foam is different, you know, uh, uh, th than this hydro speed foam, whatever. I'm just a dumbass. That's what it is. So I go to Costco, Home Depot, or, or, or Costco, Sam's, and I just buy big things of these rags. A lot of them you can't really reuse. You can wash them, but you'll never get them back to the way they were. And um, I do like Chemical Guys... Uh, like these, for instance, these, these are the dirty ones, you can you gotta buy them new, but these red, uh, microfiber towels, they call the happy ending, the greatest 
fluffy towel on earth. There's really, I mean, I, I like to, what I like to do is cut them into little squares and I keep them in my cars to clean my glasses. The problem is they're very linty. Uh, so chemical guys, like I would sell a little square of this if you could, like little small ones and sell it as just a little small cleaner. But um, anyway, this is sort of a look at like this. This is the well house. This is where the well was kept uh, for the property. And, and there's these old lockers in here I got to get rid of. I, I got to do something with them. And I just keep junk in here. And it's, it's just this little building. And, and because it's near the water, it's a long story about the well. Like the well used to be inside this building. And then they had to move the well out outside the building. It, like it collapsed and so they just moved it over and since you can't drill inside a building they drilled right there that's is how it was explained to me all right let's get going all right we're gonna take this to the car show and get mocked and laughed at let's see what happens okay genuine cold start when it's 80 degrees in the morning it's been doing this thing where it the starter doesn't always engage But then it starts. I think it's got a bad, maybe not a bad starter, but a bad um, solenoid on the starter. Which, by the way, I just wanted to point out, this is an Alpine stereo. <laughs> I just realized there's a USB there. I should have brought me a USB for my phone. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't think there's a charger in here. There's no cup holder. My Lexus has a cup holder here. I thought I could put one of those little flip down cup holders here, but that'd be really ugly. I'm gonna mount a phone mount to the side of this thing here so that my phone mounts right there. There's a microphone, I just realized. I have Bluetooth. All right, let's get rolling. This is my uh, Gene Simmons money bag hat. Look at the cats running. Cats, get away from my car, you cat. My Gene Simmons money bag hat. I don't normally wear a hat, but I keep getting sunburned on my little skinny head, so. Um. It's like a Volkswagen. Parked over here in the, uh, the New Balance section. Where they keep the Corvettes. I'm trying to explain to this other dude. Whenever you see a car with Montana plates, Montana is one of those states where you can register your car without being a resident. Those are for tax dodgers, cheats, basically. But uh, there you go. Everybody's trying to figure out what this car is. They don't know if it's real. They don't know if it's a kid car. I'm not going to say anything. Goddamn cat prints. Cat prints. It's only like 9 30 and everybody's already out of here. I, I wanted to get more video, but I've been garaged by questions and whatnot. And so I just decided to walk around because get away from the car. Just because I got tired of talking to people about it. Dude come up to me a minute ago. I was like, hey, are you the one that was on the highway over there a minute ago? No, I'm sure. No, no, that was... Um, that was a completely different red Countach. My buddy's uh, Brickland. Some people know what the Brickland is, some people don't know what the Brickland is. It was a custom car that was built in the 1970s, 74, 75 by Malcolm Brickland. Made of acrylic. It's not a kit car, but it is a fiberglass uh, acrylic based car. This car was originally orange and then painted yellow. And um, so a lot of people know about the car. They all came with these brown interiors with the front V8, and they get confused with the DeLorean all the time. And uh, I personally don't like yellow. I prefer orange, like this Lamborghini here. Here comes another Lamborghini. But um, anyway, they're real cool cars. Learn more about the Brooklyn. This is a fantastic orange color. It's got that metal flake to it. Beautiful. I'm not a big fan of green. Sir, sir, sir. Oh, yeah, uh, Dale Briscoe's? 
Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Impressive. I should go buy these guys with the Lamborghinis over there and be like, hey, why don't you get a real Lamborghini? It'd be funny. <laughs> those, those are real Lamborghinis. <laughs> those are nice Audis you have there, sir. Some people say, hey, nice Fiero. <laughs> no, people really appreciated seeing the car today. They really liked it. And I don't know if they thought it was real or what they thought it was, but they thought it was cool. That's all that matters. There's a, I don't know if it's still here. There's some beautiful Rolls Royces over here. Beautiful red Corniche. I think he left. He did. Getting out is the hard part. Uh, well, that was fun. Man, I, I am cranky in the morning. Not a morning person. I'm gonna go grab the rolls, go down to my favorite little breakfast area, go down to the Crown and get some English breakfast and some tea, some beans on toast. That's what I need. That's what I need right now. Let me check on this thing, see how it's doing. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. I set it for like 102, and look at that. Like right on the money. I don't know how accurate this thing is. That's between 105, so that's 102 I set it at. So it's, it's regulating its temperature, great. Ooh, I'm gonna crawl on this thing tonight. Yeah, yeah, Bubba. It's Chef Joey. What are you cooking for breakfast? Here for a little full Monty, baby. I'll give you the I'll give you the full Monty. Uh -huh, I bet you will. Go back there and cook me some breakfast because these motherfuckers keep messing up my beans. I know, right? Crown and Anchor, my favorite place. Get your bean shit together. Come on. The full Monty and hot tea. You got over there, Joey. You got a full Monty? I got a wiener. Show me your wiener. You like look at that. Look at the smile on your face holding that wiener. Look at him. Bane. Mine's, mine's bigger. I'm happy it's, about that. It's, it's beans on toast. Beans on toast. Beans on toast. Popper. There we go. Had a nice breakfast. I'm gonna go to the mall. Joey's gonna go. Good. What are you gonna get your hair done? Probably. Get your hair. Get, get, get your hair did. Gonna get your nails done. Round or square? We uh, probably get a point to this side. Go get. Uh, <laughs> let's go get that couple's massage. Let's do it. A couple. As long as I can face you. You. Get out of here. Gross. Have me some beans on toast. I'm gonna go to the mall. Yeah. Let's go to the mall. There it is. 
I see you peeking out there. Look at you. You know, head over on over to Caesar's Palace. Got some construction going on over there. Got the air conditioner blasting. It's not that hot today. What is it? It's like, uh, what's that saying? It's, it's only 95. But, you know, it's nice. Nice afternoon. Barely after. But it's not, actually, it's, it's not afternoon yet. It's almost, it's just before noon. People are hanging out. This is one of the greatest malls of all time. The forum shops. I've said this a million times. Go straight to the top. Go straight to the top. Nobody parks at the top. There's always parking at the top. There's a line of people trying to get a parking space down there. They're all driving around in circles. Just go to the top. Take the elevator down. Everybody's gonna take the elevator anyway. Listen to me one more time. Go to the top. Go to the top. Go to the top. Go to the top. There's always parking at the top. Take the elevator. You're gonna have to take the elevator on floor two or floor five. Doesn't matter. It's just one of the most beautiful places in the world. There's a lot of facade to Vegas, but I mean, okay, look. That's, that's metal. That's metal. That's brass. That's, this is rock. It's real. Some statues. Whether it's concrete or marble or fiberglass, it's still epic. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at this. Christian Le Baton, red spiky belt. Shining, I could have it. I've been wearing this Mont Blanc belt, which is fantastic. This one, I gotta have it. It's awesome. Look at that. It's <laughs> You guys, essentially, so, like, if you want a round there it is. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> yeah, people love my fashion. People ask me all the time in comments what shirts I wear. Um, not my black Wrangler work shirt that I normally wear. My uh, over shirts, like this, this Kiss shirt I'm wearing. I wear Robert Graham. Robert Graham, my favorite brand. So every hour here at the end of the Forum Shop, we have the Poseidon Show, which is an animated Disney-style show. People gather around, they get all excited. And you can come see the, uh, the fight of the fireboats. The Atlantis show is this one. It's free. I'm sure the 90s just was like, epic. it's pretty epic now. I cannot choose my child. I, I cannot choose my child. Look at this. Your it's great. Choose the heir to my throne and cease this foolish fight. Or we'll find this precious man robbed the day and starry night. Patrice or Alida? That's Bobby, that's pure, clean propane. There it is. Do they have this at your mall? I love Vegas. Oh, let's get out of here before everybody else starts. That's why people come from all over the world to see this place. It's pretty awesome. Let's check out this shoe store, whatever this is here. This is one of the rarest, most expensive pinball machines ever made. My boy Ed Robertson from uh, Burning Ladies has one. I think I have two of them here. Well, they did. That's what I hear. Decided to come over here to the Fashion Show Mall about a block away. It's nowhere nearly as cool as uh, Caesars. It's a decent mall. Uh, good stuff here. This is a little bit lower quality stuff, less expensive. You know, it doesn't suck. Looks like they're doing some kind of swing set. You 
can you can okay so the best parking is uh come over here across from trump international that's how you get into the uh fashion show there it is there it is so right across from the big gold building is the parking garage and of course here we are at the pawn shop where you've seen me on tv many times we should roll in there see see what the guys are doing so yeah you've seen me on uh, the pawn star show about five times since 2011 been on here a lot of times and uh, sometimes people recognize me when I come in here when I'm walking around, especially when I just have my red suspenders on because that was what I was wearing on the show. We'll go in there. It's a nice tourist attraction. Yeah, they prefer you don't film in there, record in there because the place looks very different than it does on TV. I think that's the reason why. <laughs> it's all I'm going to say about that. Um, a couple of people recognize me in there. You know, the employees re remember me. <clears throat> So they have a uh, barbecue and all kinds of stuff over here. All kinds of, they got old, it smells good actually. I might get some barbecue. I'm venturing around Vegas. I'm over on Boulder Highway, which is sort of the ghetto. It's right over, not far from my house actually. I've always wanted to check this place out. It's called Longhorn Casino. Cause they have these big signs up. It says 1399 steak dinner. I want to check this place out, $25 rooms. It's got to be really nice. All right, first impressions. It's a, I think this is the whole casino. It's pretty small in here. Very smokers friendly. If you like the smoke, if you don't like smoke, which I don't, it's very smoky. They put a lot of mirrors up to try to make it look bigger because it's not very big. It's a real small little place. More hotel than it is casino. It's, it's, it's for the affordable, uh, fun seeker, but uh, very smoky, very smoky. I don't see anybody in here not smoking. I'm the only one not smoking. <coughs> Look at this. Do you, do you remember what they call this down south? They called this shit on a shingle. Hey, they got a big giant sign out there advertising a little tiny restaurant. I expected there to be a much bigger place. This little area over here, Boulder Highway, a lot of homeless people, you know, it's, um, listen, it's, it is what it is. Um, there are areas of Vegas that down Charleston, Fremont, Boulder Highway, where the not as, not as fortunate are. A lot of trailer parks, KOAs, that kind of stuff. And then you'll see people that just made their own trailer park on the side of the road. So, um, you know, traditionally Boulder Highway over here would have been where you'd have found the brothels and things like that. So for the people, there's probably people that are, you know, staying here that get a $25 a night room just so they could take a shower once a week. I don't know. Even the smallest junkiest casino could still cost millions of dollars. This is still probably a $10 million facility. So, um, but it, it's, it's kind of, I like places like this sometimes. You know what I mean? Not, not everything has to be the glitz and glamor. So I'm gonna try their $13 steak special, see how it is. <laughs> dude just started to bring me some A1 and Heinz 57. I knew I was in trouble. I said, dude, if I need that, we're gonna have a problem. Take that away. All right, here we go. This is their thirteen ninety nine steak. Um, let's try it out. All right, I put a little salt and pepper on there, a little butter. Steak. Let's try it out. Good char flavor. Ordered at medium rare. It's a little bit chewy for, you know, steak, half inch thick. Pulling it off the prime rib side. A great char flavor. Basic steamed vegetables. Let's try this dinner roll out. Mm. 
Frozen are good. Proper baked potato out of the oven, wrapped in tin foil. Just butter and cream. Pretty basic. Perfect temperature. I came in right at four, so I'm getting the four o'clock special. Thirteen ninety nine steak. You know, if you're a trucker coming off the road, staying here, it's a, you know, Denny steak, whatever. But in Vegas, for under twenty bucks, for any kind of steak, for almost anything. I mean, this would a sandwich at Subway would cost you more. Pretty good. I like my steaks really rare. They did a good job. The char flavoring is fantastic. Mmm. Good char. That really adds flavor to it. Okay, I spoke too soon. It's a good thing I got good teeth in all of them. Because the other side of the steak is like shoe leather. What what did I what did I think was gonna happen? What did I expect? What are, for the uh 1399 steak. There it is. <laughs> waiter was really good. You know, I said to the waiter, I go, you know what? You're a really good waiter. You're fantastic. You're doing a great job. You're super friendly. How long you been here? He goes, I've been here a couple years. I said to the dude, this is what I want you to do. I want you to start learning wine, study wine, learn everything you can about wine. And then go audition for one of the nicer steakhouses and restaurants because you're a really good waiter. And if you knew wine, I go, because dude, your $13, $14, your $20 meal, I'm gonna make four bucks if I'm generous, right? You should be making a lot more money. You might have to wear a suit and tie, a cummerbund or whatever, but <clears throat> that's what you should do. That's my recommendation. I left them 20 bucks. I said, you know, as, 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 uh, hard, as much as we need help in this town, <clears throat> you should be able to get a really good job anywhere. Seriously. <clears throat> so Boulder Highway goes to Boulder City. This was the original way to get in and out of Vegas back in the day. Been down this road before, and they built the highway, the bypass, the freeway, and then you don't use this anymore. It's a pod up rock and roll fantasy yeah it's bad coming it's a part of my rock and roll dreams